So welcome to today's episode. So recently I took a trip to Bali, Indonesia, and the purpose of this trip was to evaluate different resorts for a future, actually in 2022, a Strive Seminar Vacation. So I have that job, I've got to go to these different destinations, choose the different resorts that we're going to look at and select one. It's a pretty nice job. And so all the footage you're about to see, this is what I captured. And you're going to see a particular resort, which I really like. I hope you like this episode. Let's get right into it. So my trip to Bali began in Australia, in my home city of Perth. There I was at the airport, I was meant to fly out at 2 p.m. and I'm sitting on the plane ready to go. And then 20 minutes later they tell us that there's lightning damage to one of the wings. So everyone's got to disembark and we have to wait for an hour. Well that hour turned into two and then four and by 9 p.m. we were all told that we needed to reschedule flights and leave tomorrow. The airline paid for a taxi to a nearby hotel and the hotel cost and then by coincidence that hotel happened to be the same hotel that I used to stay in as a kid whenever we would visit Perth. The next day, I was back on the plane and this time we were on our way. Now on the plane over there, I picked up a copy of Chappelle Corby's book. Now if you're Australian, then you'll know who she is. For everyone else, way back in my high school days, this story made headlines. She's an Australian who traveled to Bali and was caught with 4.5 kilograms of marijuana in her bodyboard case. Now, Bali has some of the strictest laws on drugs in the world and you can't miss the signs warning of death sentences. She ended up getting 20 years, serving nine and a half of them in a Balinese jail. So to this day, she still denies it all. But as I picked up my luggage, as I arrived at the Bali airport, I couldn't help but be a little extra paranoid. Now, as soon as I stepped out of that airport, the sweet smell of Balinese air hit me. The last time I was in Bali, I was hosting mastermind conferences at this stunning resort, actually two of them, the Rimba and the Angsana Resort. That was more than four years ago. It's great to be back. About 30 minutes later, I was arriving at the hotel of the One Boutique Villas. This would be my home for the next two nights. Now there's certain countries that are renowned for having incredible hospitality, where staff go way beyond the norms of making sure their guests are looked after, and Bali is one of those countries. When I arrived, the friendly hotel staff were waiting with my key. They then led me to my room, the gardens were lit up with lights, and there was this immediate feeling that this place was going to be peaceful. The room or villa is quite incredible. Each one has got its own little garden, an outdoor sun terrace, and of course, a private pool. It would be perfect for couples and families. And at our Strive events, we certainly have a lot of couples and families. So already I was really liking this place. Now, even though the showers and the bathtub is out in the open, it's actually outside of the villa. The walls are very high, so you still have privacy. The beds are canopied with drapes and the sheets are the high-end, silky smooth, expensive kind. And as for the mattress, I'm not exaggerating here. This is one of the most comfortable mattresses I've ever slept on. Each room's sun terrace has its own kitchen outfitted with a full-size fridge and freezers, stove tops, and a microwave. And as for the pool, which is standard in all the villas, it's quite large. You could spend the entire afternoon just sitting out here, relaxing. Now that night, I wanted to go try some of the new restaurants nearby because we want to take our attendees out and show them a good time. The good thing about this hotel is if you want to go out, they'll drive you to just about anywhere within 20 minutes of the hotel. I ended up choosing this restaurant, which of course serves Thai food, which is my favorite food in the whole world, and it didn't disappoint. Now for breakfast the next day, I'd seen this brochure advertising something called a floating breakfast. So I had to try this. This is where they bring you breakfast in the morning, but they serve it on a tray which floats in the pool. And I just wanted to do it just for the experience. So this is something that we're considering for our events. Two staff came in, presented this amazing looking breakfast and I don't think I've ever been so spoiled for any breakfast in my life. So in just about every area, I've got to give this hotel a solid five stars. This is definitely going on our list of potential venues for our upcoming Strive event in 2022. There's really nothing I can complain about. The staff were very friendly and accommodating. The rooms were amazing. The bed, heavenly. And the outdoor bath, shower, and of course the pool. 
Excellent. So if you like the look of what you just saw and you can see yourself and a guest taking a seven day, six night holiday to Bali, Indonesia next year, then click the link below this video. It's going to take you to a presentation which reveals how your membership with Strive works and how you can actually get two seven day, six night seminar vacations per year to places like Bali, Fiji, Thailand, Costa Rica, the Bahamas, and Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Check out that link, and I hope to see you at a future Strive seminar vacation.